we got how many of those? Eight of them? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna do a diagonal this way. So, clear back as far as I can remember, there's always been perch here, but when I was fishing as a little kid, you know, an eight inch perch out of here was like a big one. So it just got, the more perch, the more perch it got stunted. So they didn't grow very much. So you just had all these six to eight inch perch running around, if, if not smaller. They did some management with it. Got rid of a bunch of the pike minnows, um, which are a predatory fish. And basically just, it's just been awesome. I mean, the last, probably six, seven years, it's just gotten better and better and they've gotten bigger and bigger. The state record's been broke multiple times. But we're like, I think right now, probably one of the, if not the best, probably the top three, three best pit perch fisheries in the nation right now for jumbo perch. That's all we're looking for. I mean, we're, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere else and catch 15, 16 inch here and So, you see that line moving up and down? Right here, you can see it here and here. See that? Yeah. That's my lure. See this little green line here? That's a dink fish coming up to check it. So it'll tell you, it'll mark your lure and it will mark the fish and the fish, depending on the size, will make it, you know, the, the mark will get bigger. You want a big fat red mark, that's a big one coming in. So there's a fish coming up to look at this. So when you have one coming up to look, you just, sit there and just, just kind of jiggle it. Maybe bring it up a little bit. Oh, he's following you. Yeah. Now there's another fish coming. Jiggle it. Then hold it still. See if he'll bite it. On the top line, So right? that fish came up real fast. So hold it still? We can jiggle it just a little bit, just so he's just like, okay, now watch and see what he does. Just a little bit. Stop. <laughs> go down or up or what? Bring it up. You always kind of want to go up. So now, see, you went up too far. So now oh. he's going back down. So take Sorry. it back down to him. A little more. You can either pull line out or just, just pull line out to get down to him. Now he scared him off. See, how, now that other one coming up. Yeah, so keep going up. Now just wait and see what he does. And then just kind of give it a little... Oh, this one over here is getting... Pick it up. Just pick it up straight. Oh, no. Nope. He's gone. Set Sorry. it back down. No, it's fine. Go back down. They're just little. When it's a big one, you'll be able to tell. Oh. Got him! See? I don't know what I got, but... You caught a dink, but it's still a fish. I got a fish. Yay. Look how cute he is! He doesn't even have pretty colors! <laughs> so we've got all different sizes of perch in here now, anywhere from little guys all the way up. So all the different sizes are in here, which is good. It shows that they're they're definitely growing and and we're not got one group of big ones and one group of small ones and then in between they're all different sizes. So it should tell us that, you know, the fishery's doing well, they're growing, they're eating, doing what they're supposed to do. Did you catch a toady? I don't know. I think you did. Look at that. So, you know, if you're fishing from all the way from end of December into March, it's a pretty good little season. And there's a lot of other places to fish in the state for sure. Magic and some of those other places over by Twin Falls. But they don't have perch like we do.